A very good evening to all of you. I welcome you once again to our webinar series, Wealthwise with Edelweiss. Today we have with us Mr. Prashant Shah, the founder and CEO of Define Edge. As you might be aware, Prashant is one of the leading intuitive and sharp minds in the broader market spectrum. Today he shall be covering technical analysis of sector and market outlook. Over to you, Prashant. Hey, thank you, Anga, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, collaborating with uh, Edelweiss for their webinar series, Wealthwise with Edelweiss. So, uh, as you all are aware, uh, the markets have been rather volatile in the past two months. Uh, the COVID and subsequent lockdown has a major impact on the economy, and uh, it has had, uh, left the several investors in mid uncertainty. So please, uh, so we, I'll, I'll uh, going to share uh, some data with you all, and uh, then we will discuss the technical structure of overall market, uh, some important ind index uh, indices, and uh, overall sector. Uh, but uh, just one uh, important note that it is possible that uh, there might be some time lag of around 10 15 seconds while uh, i'm taking you through slides so because of the connectivity or network issues so please uh, i request you to bear with me all right as i said uh, i'm going to take you th uh, through some uh, important data and uh, statistics which tells us about the overall uh, trend of the market and uh, how stocks are behaving and then i'll uh, we will we'll discuss uh, the market outlook and what should we do from the short term and medium term trading and investment perspective so this is nifty weekly candlestick chart on your screen this is just to show you a, a medium term picture on the right hand side uh, uh, as we uh, all know there is a severe downtrend uh, after that uh, all time high that nifty made so this is weekly chart these two blue lines that you see are from the important tops or bottoms uh, during 2016 uh, that Nifty made. Recently, we have seen uh, the bottom in place around those levels, but it is trading below that orange line, which is a significant average line, and market is trading below that. Now, this is one more chart, which is daily Nifty candlestick chart. I, I, the purpose of this chart is you can see these uh, three average lines, orange line, which is uh, 200 day moving average. Now, this could be uh, this is a popular uh, uh, moving average, and you must have heard people talking about this. this. The price is below 200 day moving average, so it is in a downtrend. So, it is just a barometer of uh, uh, long term uh, trend. If price is below 200 day moving average, then we typically say that. There is something bearish that it has gone below the average price of last 200 days. So Nifty is trading below that, well below that average line. So the downtrend, it uh, it is in a long term downtrend. Then that blue line is 50 day moving average, which is a medium term average. So the trend or the medium term trend is uh, uh, that is shown by that blue line, and Nifty is still below uh, below that. So medium term trend is also down. And that green line is 20 day moving average, which is short term average. And price, Nifty price is above that, which shows that the in the, in the short term, we are above that uh, important moving average line and it is uptrend. I use this very simple chart and simple tools which are popular. And I'm, I think all of you will be knowing what this moving average is to show, to uh, tell you some important thing. So this, these are the, simple tools which tells us about the trend of price on daily chart. So here we get to know if we make it objective that we get to know that price is trading below significant moving averages, medium term and long term and above short term moving average, right? Now this is about Nifty, uh, the price analysis of Nifty, but Nifty is made of 50 stocks. If we want to know how those 50 stocks are behaving, what is actually happening there? So this is this charts uh, this chart uh, shows the percentage of stocks 
about 200 day moving average line in nifty 50 right so how many stocks in nifty 50 are about 200 day moving average so uh, th this is as on yesterday around 14 percent stocks are about 200 day moving average that means 86 percent stocks are below 200 day moving average so uh, trend is down the long term trend is down not only in nifty but most of the stocks in nifty and this 14 percent actually uh, if you uh, go uh, a few bars before in the last week it was around four uh, percent so that is uh, uh, something which is very uh, uh, bearish in a way only almost 96 percent stocks are below long term average so almost uh, so, so many stocks are in downtrend and if I uh, go back in history and see, I think this has uh, happened around a couple of times, one in 2008 and then somewhere in 2011. And then we saw a kind of bounce from those levels. But right now, so we have two important information. One is price of most of the stocks is uh, bearish. It is the long term trend is down. This chart is Nifty 500 uh, stocks. How many stocks in Nifty 500 universe are about 200 a moving average? Almost same picture. Around 14% stocks are bullish. Rest of the stocks, now this sample size is big. The universe is of 500 stocks. And here also we have seen that uh, almost 86% uh, uh, stocks are trading below their 200 day moving averages. So long term trend of most of the stocks is bearish. That's the important. And the, the picture is same around. Uh, mid cap or uh, uh, if you look at uh, uh, small cap everywhere in every group perhaps. So now there are two important uh, takeaways. One is trend is down. If that is the case, should we buy? I mean, most of the stocks are trading below their uh, 200 day average or you know, the, most of the stocks are bearish uh, from the long term perspective. Then should we buy because market is bearish, stocks are bearish. But then second is if everything is uh, bearish then it, it is possible that it is oversold also so as i said last time we have seen couple of times this extreme oversold uh, zone and then nifty bounced from those levels right now today the situation is uh, uh, such a you know there is there's so um, uh, so much of uncertainty which has perhaps never happened before and all of you will agree that you know, businesses are stopped I and mean, everything is stopped so it is very difficult to uh, uh, talk about that, but we'll we'll uh, discuss that also. The oversold zones. So these two are the important things. But now let me show you one more chart. <clears throat> we discuss Nifty uh, 500, Nifty 50. See the overall universe. This is uh, a bar chart of that tells you the percentage of stocks about 200 day moving average in different indices. For example, the first is mid and large cap 250 then mid cap, and then mid and small cap 400. So these are different uh, uh, groups of important stock and we get to know by this that what is happening across the groups. If I segregate the overall market in these important groups, then what is happening overall? So roughly uh, almost uh, 15 to 20, all the uh, uh, number of stocks in all the groups are roughly between 15 to 20%. The stocks which are above, 200 day moving average. So most of the stocks are bearish. Uh, Nifty is around 14 percent. Now if I just uh, look at the uh, two or three important index, for example, dividend opportunity index or high beta index or the small cap index, there the performance is uh, below the Nifty as well. So almost 90 percent stocks are bearish. And uh, this quality 30 index, which is uh, Nifty quality 30, made from the 200 uh, nifty 200 this is uh, this is the index from nsc itself here the performance is high led by uh, some pharma and uh, 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 fmcg stock now the same thing if i look at across the sectors now i'm keeping this chart for a moment on on your screen you know just go through it see there are important sectors and if you see this uh, division number of stocks long term how how much of them are bullish across the sectors so you will see that so many sectors for example auto bank uh, i have also shown uh, sectors like cable cement uh, fertilizer 
uh, all these are the, the reading is around 0% so almost all stocks are bearish in this sector and uh, sectors like pharma mnc and fmcg uh, pharma is around 80% so most of the stocks in pharma are bullish and fmcg and consumption are quite okay but uh, otherwise most of the sectors are the picture is same so there is a, a sell off across the counter that we know the trend is bearish few couple of sectors are only doing good and perhaps this is uh, uh, logical also which is see what we are doing right now sitting at home right we are buying these uh, stocks only the necessities so uh, the situation is favorable only to these sectors and uh, that is what is reflecting in price so right now this is the information uh, what is happening across the stocks uh, across the sectors now, this is the long term trend now what if we look at the short term trend and uh, medium term trend also since last three, uh, few sessions we have seen nifty bounced uh, from the lows and uh, you know trading above as we see uh, so on the chart also it is trading above 20 day moving average 10 day moving average so nifty has bounced in short term so the long term trend is down this is the chart there are four bars uh, look at this tall blue bar and then the yellow bar so we have seen the long term picture uh, shown by those uh, previous two bars but this is uh, the blue is 20 day moving average and the yellow is 10 day moving average how many stocks are above their short term averages because i have to uh, I, what i was looking at is when nifty bounced how many stocks and sectors are participating right where what is the breakup so these are the major uh, indices like nifty 500 50 alpha so here uh, typically uh, a few st uh, sectors are though we have seen bounce across the stock and sector right so uh, but in the short term there are few underperformers for example, uh, Nifty High Beta or uh, somewhere uh, large cap or uh, mid cap, small cap. Now, this chart is across all sectors, the percentage of stocks above their short term moving averages 20 DM and 10 DM. So, this is technically known as a, a breadth analysis. We are looking at what is happening in those uh, sectors across the one to we do uh, the analysis of nifty nifty 500 the sector average how it is trading but when we look at what is happening in the stocks of those sectors and the breakup then we get to know the health of that sector so here what is happening uh so many stock and sectors are though there is a bound the the uh, it is not at par uh with nifty or the nifty 500 so then we get to know about the sectors which are outperforming and the sectors which are underperforming nifty right so uh, just uh, to summarize and uh, now these are the important four uh, sectors which are right now outperforming nifty this is ratio chart ratio to nifty so first is fmcg divided by nifty and when the, when this chart is bullish that means fmcg is outperforming nifty uh, so uh, right now fmcg is outperforming the pharma stocks are outperforming consumption and mnc on multiple parameters that i told you these the averages are also bullish and the uh, most of the stocks in these sectors are outperforming you now i think everybody knows that pharma is doing good and but what happens typically is we tend to miss those moves when we uh, feel that okay uh, it has performed already the pharma is already doing good fmcg is already doing good what should i buy i should buy something which is falling or which is oversold or which is i'm getting it cheap or it's a, at a fair valuation kind of stuff but what happens is typically i have seen that uh, when uh, the outperformers continue to outperform for a long period of time uh, uh, so when we see uh, the nifty is going up or there is a uptrend there will be bounce in other sectors also but it is a kind of technical bounce which is short term and here in this uh, sectors which are on the medium term uh, perspective are outperforming nifty and they contributed when even nifty was weak there whenever you see, uh, find a cor uh, uh, correction or whenever you find opportunity in the uh, 
or uh, they are at supports or something like that you should look for the buying opportunity in these uh, sectors so these are the favorable sectors in current scenario at the same time there are a few sectors which are seriously underperforming and they did not not contribute even when you no know, when when nifty uh, short trend so we have to be careful if we see another downlang in nifty or if we see a correction then these uh, are the sectors which are uh, may underperform or which may uh, uh, there you see uh, me, you may see a further correction for example nifty financial services or uh, banks reality or metals so uh, there that the, the temporary bounces will be there but we have to be careful from the uh, overall trend and the uh, uh, re- there is a relative weakness uh, from the medium term perspective as per current picture so we have to be careful uh, for example now see when i i just go i'm going back to this strong uh, uh, stocks i i'm uh, giving you a picture about the stocks which are you know contributing in for example the uh, fmcg jubilant food nestle india so these are the stocks which are outperforming this this outperforming uh, 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 sector and uh, now you have to also keep in mind that this sector is outperforming uh, there are some underperformers for example godrej industries not contributing and i have showed uh, the data the how many stocks are about their short term long term averages that could be a simple uh, uh, way of analyzing the market there could be other methods but if you know that which sector is contributing these are the sectors and then which stocks are leading for example if i talk about pharma almost all stocks are doing good for dr reddy biocon or of pharma the, there the price structure is good in consumption bharti or uh, uh, asian paint or alchem lab so these are the stocks apart from this uh, there are uh, for ex- uh, Uh, the groups where we don't have uh, index average for example chemicals fertilizers they have uh, showed uh, off late there is uh, there is a strength uh, on in, in this sector and also agriculture is participating in the weakness the hotel stocks are completely beaten so there is a weakness in this uh, sector so overall there is a weakness but if we uh, when whenever there is a bounce and if we keep a note of which stocks or which sectors and which groups are contributing and which are the ones uh, they are not contributing so we know that uh, what sector or space we should keep in mind from the investment perspective this is the macro analysis right and then when we when you look at the stocks of these sectors uh, that uh, uh, that that is the micro analysis so ideally we should look for the investment in uh, stocks uh, where there is uh, the mic- macro and micro both in place now this is uh, to give you idea about what is happening otherwise overall this the first chart is gold gold divided by nifty so all these are ratio chart second is usd uh, uh, currency usd inr divided by nifty this is bonds gs composite index how bonds are doing uh, this is nifty and then uh, crude oil uh, i i think the uh, nothing much to talk about that but that that is also uh, uh, there so now gold is overall outperforming nifty currency is outperforming nifty and gs composite is outperforming nifty so all these asset classes nifty is underperforming against all of them but off led if you see that uh, the right hand side uh, chart of all these uh, uh, asset classes the currency is underperforming off led against nifty and same with bonds or the gold itself so in short term nifty is outperforming all these and in the medium term uh, it is underperforming so overall the broad picture is from medium term to short term the trend of nifty and across market is bearish downtrend and from the short term perspective it is bullish and uh, volatile i'm also coming to that part of volatile this chart is just for your uh, uh, reference i i follow point and figure renko noiseless charts and i practice them a lot so but i know that you may not be aware about the subject but this chart is short term chart of nifty two important things roughly around 95 to 90 800 is a uh, short term uh, bullish count which is open trend of nifty as i said earlier is bullish and the reference level from here is around actually uh, 8600 uh, as long as we are around 80 above 8600 the technical 
trend from the short term perspective is bullish so that's the uh, basic uh, bottom line price formations are bullish uh, one important point that i want to uh, uh, talk about from the traders perspective or uh, in fact uh, from the investment also i said volatility now for volatility we usually uh, there are many uh, tools that we can follow for example india weeks or but there is something called as etr percentage average true range when the true range is the the range of candlestick and uh, when we compare the true range of uh, a particular instrument over last let's say 14 bars we get average true range now we calculate the percentage of average true range range of the um, uh, pri uh, price to the current price so we get the percentage atr so right now the nifty atr is around 4% 4.2% and uh, so this is actually also above the usual range the usual range of nifty would be somewhere around 1 to 3% this 4% is high and you can see on the chart it was almost around 8 9% a uh, few days before so the range is uh, right now nifty uh, uh, the volatility is high now let me show one more chart this is percentage of stocks in nifty 500 universe which are about 5% atr so how many stocks in nifty 500 stocks are above the 5% range the, the usual range of the stocks is between 5% to 2 to, uh, to 5% at times they go about 7 8% but usual range is that now this is like uh, uh, the stocks 88 to uh, 88% almost stocks are above 5% atr in nifty 500 universe so the range of most of the stocks is uh, high which uh, shows us that the market is very volatile overall and see this chart uh, this is like nifty 500 since beginning uh, since inception even if you look at nifty 50 or any other uh, uh, index for that matter this has happened for the first time so it was almost 98% few days back so almost every stock is uh, about 5% range which is every stock is volatile so what does it mean you know this volatility means when you are following something some method or breakout or you know particularly for traders if you are following some method it is for that range the usual range when it is about that particular range your method needs a tweak you have to you can't trade with the same for example you are following a method where you are putting a stop loss below a previous candle or something like that this range is not really affordable you will not be able to put uh, man, uh, afford that stop loss now uh, this volatility is quite not uh, uh, affordable for those systems so what you should do a trader should in, in these uh, uh, times the one trick that i can uh, just give you uh, give you as a hint you should go to the lower time frame if you are looking at daily chart you should trade lower time frame charts for example 60 minute chart or something like that this is for technical traders in fact this is where you are getting the maximum uh, the moves that you can get in a month or quarter are getting in a day or two so that is that is the kind of range for that and for the investors who are looking for the mark, market for short term investment on and things like that the idea is to let this settle this volatility has to settle because otherwise it will it is like anybody's guess where it will go but uh, uh, th this kind of volatility if uh, it has to settle for uh, you know so mark, then the, they can take the decisions but from from traders perspective this is a complete uh, you have a nice range on a lower time frame which you can uh, you know trade and uh, the 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 lower time frame charts can also be used for the short term uh, investment uh, things like that so this this volatility is one important uh, point that i had to read. all right so these are the important things you can uh, go for the question now Thank you, Prashant. I believe that that was very insightful. Uh, we will now open the floor for the question and answers. Uh, over to you, Prashant. Okay, so uh, uh, I can see uh, some questions. I'll uh, uh, discuss those uh, one by one. So one is uh, uh, what should be investment strategy percentage wise 
that is 10% now 10% at 9300 level 20% at 95 uh, so i i think you are asking about i mean what should i roughly invest you can invest like uh, uh, th that could be a break up like 10% now 20% now there cannot be a fixed formula the only thing is you should invest partially one second invest in stocks and sectors which are doing good relatively uh, outperforming uh, sectors it is see uh, in last few days also the people who invested in those sectors or stocks they did well also uh, so because uh, uh, and what is happening in the current situation is reflected in price we will see those sectors contributing those stocks contributing so my one advice uh, uh, to everyone uh, from the and with all my experience i can tell it with the uh, conviction that remain invested in relative outperforming sectors and stocks if market will continue to perform you will see uh, uh, your portfolio will do good good and uh, get rid of the weakness okay another question is what is nifty outlook in quarter one and two will it break 7000 levels on nifty so if we see a long term uh, chart there are uh, uh, some bearish uh, counts or the price projections which are open roughly around 6300 6800 now all those are uh, probability that you know i mean uh, what we do is uh, we do a long term analysis of charts with different theories and then we come across come uh, across some probabilities but then what we have to do from trading perspective or investment perspective we have to uh, monitor that whether it is uh, in line so right now what is happening is from the short term i i think uh, roughly around 9600 there are uh, multiple resistances which we have to be uh, which we have to look at uh, so that's the uh, price wise which i uh, am looking at right now and uh, below 8600 it will be very bearish uh, i believe uh, as long as we are above that then things are fine but below that i see uh, uh, more bearish counts getting open so these are the levels i will uh, recommend to keep in mind and uh, when it, see when it comes to q1 q2 you all will agree that you know it is like anybody's guess if you ask me uh, the, the situation is uh, right now uh, uh, that that we don't know when this businesses will be back in the uh no shape uh, right now there are no businesses that is something which we have to understand no uh, so that's uh, uh, important thing when we are look uh, deciding about the our, our our investments another question is what stocks to buy for long term investment <clears throat> so uh, for example i i talked about uh, uh, i'm looking at the pharma right now fncg then fncg though the stocks already perform for example uh, uh the, the nestle and uh, the chublan food or in pharma biocon dr reddy these are the stocks which are doing good so uh, every deep so they are in uh, uptrend they are outperforming whenever you see some kind of correction some deeps in these stocks you can look for the buying opportunity in these uh, stocks for example in consumption bharti asian paint are doing good so these are the stocks which are performing and you should look for them uh, from even from the long term perspective Ah, uh, sorry, I'm not being able to see uh, the questions. Just a moment. Okay, one more question is: uh, when markets are so volatile due to news environment, uh, should the tech analysis of stocks be ignored and just focus on news around and invest? 
so rather that would be uh, uh, quite more dangerous uh, from my uh, uh, experience because you know you be, you invest based on news and then you don't know how do you exit and you get your portfolio will be full of stocks which are you know based on news and random speculation rather here what get, can get more benefited is objective systems which are uh, which has precise entry exits and they are followed uh you may be uh, quite uh, worried because there is volatile high while uh, volatile market and you may be worried that stocks getting hit but that is how you have to as i said earlier b- based on volatility you have to apply kind of tweak on in your system if you do that and if you adjust for the volatility then these objective systems can do well in this environment is what i believe Prashant, hi. Uh, and so I think uh, I, I'll just take in a few questions. Uh, okay. There was a question also which uh, said that uh, you know, considering uh, the current, like yesterday, the MX crude oil uh, and market tanked on Tuesday, but the same effect was not seen today. So how do you see uh, this in the overall scenario? uh i would say this is kind of uh, uh, bullish from short term perspective number one is see market reacted initially but uh, we haven't seen uh, the follow through action and the uh, right now the market has uh, rather uh, uh, not reacted negatively which is a good thing from the short term perspective number two uh, you know the breadth of the market which i i just discussed was kind of overbought most of the stocks were about their uh, short term averages mm. uh they also got corrected they are in shape and today we saw a rally so this is kind of bullish from short term perspective acha uh so another question which is there is that which sectors should one look at investing once things you know eventually normalize yeah so uh was see first of all we have to be uh, uh, we have to understand that when it will get normal is a big question there's no there's nothing i mean we can't see we can't foresee right so how long this will sustain that is one and second uh, is uh, in, even now the i believe the behavior will change the consum- consumption and the overall uh, consumer behavior will change the necessities will get more preference so uh, even in that situation i believe the consumption stocks smcg pharma all these stocks will continue to po- outperform in medium term uh, from that perspective also what i believe okay so um there is a question again from yash where he asks when shares are outperforming how do we understand whether it is the correct time to buy or not okay so if you don't understand whether it is see first of all when they are outperforming uh you have to see the uh see i i showed uh, that the, there is underperformance from the uh, overall medium term perspective long term perspective and then short term so at times what happens uh, the technical bounces or the short term bounces bounces we tend to misunderstand them as a uh, outperformance that should not be a case you have to look at the overall chart how it is behaving and outperformance should be seen when markets are for example correcting now the markets when bounce from the important lows that time you have to see which sectors contributed and which did not contribute or which stocks did not contribute those who did not contribute there is a relative weakness you have to you can uh, perhaps short them when market will turn down same way when markets are falling you should note the stocks or sectors which are not falling that much where they are outperforming and then you should buy them when market goes up and when you show uh, you see a follow through price action for example right now you have the stocks or sectors which are outperforming you want to buy them wait for some consolidation some correction that gives you opportunity and then you participate okay um so then there is another question where say, which says that given the concept of efficient market hypothesis is it possible to generate alpha using technical analysis so it's a uh, uh, i mean we can go on for uh, uh, that discussion about you no know, it's a big discussion but uh, uh, if you believe that you can generate alpha a technical analyst needs to believe that price discounts everything and you can generate alpha 
if you don't have uh, that belief then perhaps you should look for the other uh, uh, methods of analysis um so could you just uh, there are a lot of views questions on views on different sectors and which stocks to look at in those sectors so could you just quickly summarize we are getting a lot of questions around the bfsi sector and the metals majorly so if you could just give a perspective around that so uh, bfsi and uh, you know metals do, both these sectors are actually in overall downtrend see and uh, particularly if i talk about metals the downtrend started even before this uh, happened so uh, there is a medium term downtrend in the sector the sector uh, charts are not bullish second is uh, the most of the stocks in those sectors are uh, below their uh, uh, you know important averages the price structure is not bullish right now the bounces that we see in these sectors are technical bounces and i believe that one should wait and stay away from these sectors for a while from the investment perspective traders can of course trade the range range but from the investment perspective i should i i think we should wait for the right time okay um there is another question which says that markets have fallen from peak but the pe is still at 20 for sensex and spot prices your comments on it uh see that will get uh, uh imagine what will happen in this quarter results and the next so uh, we will see a, a big uh, you know turn around there so uh, let's wait for a couple of quarters okay and there is another question which says which sectors do you think uh, will outperform going ahead and when is normalcy expected in terms of markets in a broad range um, so uh, the sectors that are outperforming i already uh, explained now what happens is in the usual scenario as i said you know uh, there is a extreme oversold uh, zone across sectors across stocks so typically we expect a bounce even historically uh, when uh, so many stocks are trading below their long term averages short term averages what typically happens is is followed by the bounce now this bounce has so that bounce has come uh, come in nifty in last several sessions we have seen that there is a bounce but this right now we will rate this as a technical bounce because we don't know about what is significant what is you uh, know what is the significant change in terms of businesses or economy we don't know as yet because overall if we think logically the situation is not really good uh uh so that is one thing second uh so when the uh, situation is normal or usual uh, then we will look at the long term supports for example auto stocks most of them are falling there is a uh, short term bounce around current levels but <clears throat> are uh, should we look at their important support levels at these uh, uh, situation we should not give much weight, uh, weight to uh, those uh, support areas because one to trend is down overall on the price chart most of the stocks are falling and then the uh, situation right now is not uh, that uh, favorable so in that in these circumstances we should not look at suppose we should let price uh, tell us which stocks are contributing and then we should invest so right now the pharma fmc is consumption are leading okay uh, there is a question where uh... which is asked is that can we expect the rally in pharma to fizzle out or is it a good time to invest i i believe uh, if i look at the overall stocks the uh, the patterns are bullish even from medium and short term uh, perspective i i i don't see any reason why uh, we should call uh, any top around current levels in pharma one second mm-hmm. even if you know if you see a short term resistance if you see a consolidation correction you should look for the opportunity and you should look for the trade setups right now we don't have any reason to say that uh, it will top out here and uh, with this uh, i am now moving on to the last question i want to ask you is that what should be the strategy which any retail investor should use or apply right now yeah so uh, from the retail investments per, you know perspective i believe uh, uh, you will want to buy uh, stocks in the current uh, uh, this thing from the investment perspective 
uh even if you buy as i said earlier look for the out performance in the sectors that is important the groups that are participating invest there and invest partially because uh, and and you know uh, uh even the bounce that we will see will be sharp and short term that we have to keep in mind right now i don't see anything uh, from the long term perspective okay so uh, as you said uh, the bounce will be short term and for the long term perspective we will have to wait out um, yeah. so i think that is it for today thank you so much prashant hey thank, thank you. you anga and thank you all the uh, participants thank, uh, you uh, thank you everybody uh, it was an immense pleasure to have you prashant and to hear your thoughts on the markets and to all our attendees for joining in and for being part of this journey uh, we will have you on board for our next webinar on 24 till then thank you for joining us have a great day and stay safe thank you